Daisy, say hi. Hi. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Are you, excited? Are you yeah. so excited? Woohoo! Come on then. Um, we're going to go on the aeroplane. So, I need no to tell way. them something. We're just on the bus and we're going to go on the airplane and where are we going? to car! Yeah. we're at the airport! oh my gosh! hi Callum! hello! <laughs> I realise I've not even said hello yet um, we are going to Kos. I will talk to you more um, when we're in the airport and we're all checked in and I will kind of go through everything but it feels so strange to be here. So strange but we are very excited. So we are flying with Tui. Um, it looks busy because, but everyone is kind of distanced. There's only our flight, I think, so this is everyone on our flight. It's exciting. So you got me. Um, so we're just using the self um, weighing scales thing. It's all gone sort of contactless, which is really good. So you put your um, luggage on a scale here, and then you scan your um, boarding pass, and then it prints out a bag ticket for you, and also you get a receipt. So it's pretty good. Um, as you can see, very, very quiet at the moment. It is very organised, yeah, lots of people to help and yeah, it all feels, feels safe so far, which is good. So anyway, hello. Hello. We are all checked in. We are at Birmingham Airport. We are flying to Kos. Um, we booked this a couple of months ago when the world was getting back to normal um, and now it's all gone to pot again. But luckily for us, I don't know how we've literally been so lucky. Uh, wait a minute, in that Kos is like one of the lowest in the world of cases like they're not even reporting any cases at the moment so we're good to go it feels so surreal to be traveling and um, the airport is dead i think our flight's the only one at the moment um so frankie menace is closed so we're going to go through security but i think the restaurants once you get through are open i had a look and it said like where the spoons is open so we'll just go there in a minute if we stop um but yeah we're Nervous, you nervous? No. I think once no. we've once we've done the flight and we're yeah. not packed it's, on a plane with people. It's fine, it feels safe. It's yeah, like... it does feel really safe. We feel happy to take the girls away, yeah. like we feel really safe. Um I know some people aren't happy to travel and that's absolutely fine, but we've agonised over it and we're here mm. and we're happy. Um and we just can't wait for a bit of time together. So yeah. Right, shall we go? Let's go through security and then go and get some food, I think. No, you can eat your pizza. Picking you again, got you. <laughs> we were at Weatherspoons. Oh, where am I? <laughs> I'm like really low down. Is your pizza good? Yeah, we're at Weatherspoons yeah. because I've got a really bright light. Oh, look at that. Um, it's all like you, you download an app and order it on your phone, and it's all very, um, very good. The airport's been amazing, really, for like airport. how everything's been. We got to go on the airplane. <laughs> um, yeah, we were very impressed. Um, it's actually pretty busy in here. I'll show you. You can see. There's only a few flights going out, but a lot of them seem to be kind of like within the next hour, or so or within the next like two hours. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're just gonna have some lunch and then head to the gate. I think it says 25 minutes until we know our gate. So perfect timing. There it is, Mrs. Patmore. I wonder what that means. <laughs> There's our plane. I'm very excited. So everything with Tui at the minute is literally done on the app. So we've got all of our um, boarding passes on here. You just scan it. Obviously they have to touch your passports, but what can you do? Um, but otherwise everything else is um, electronic on your app.
off. We're off. It's night time. It's warm. It smells like holiday. Oh, so nice. Ready? Go. Say thanks, plane. Thank you. Hello again. Um, I haven't vlogged for absolutely ages. We are um, we are at the hotel. We got here and they were like, just leave your bags, go and get something to eat, and then come back and check in because it's like nine o'clock Greek time, but it's obviously seven o'clock home time. Don't do that. Um, so yeah, we're just having something to eat. When we get to the room, I'll kind of go hi. through everything uh, with the airport and everything. But hi. so far, hi. <laughs> so far, um, it's just it seems beautiful. Like, can't see, but my backdrop is spot on. We're going to have to go to our hotel. We are in our hotel, we're going to have a room, then aren't we? I just need to wait. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Um, it's struggling to focus, so yeah, I'll catch up with I you when we go back to the room. <laughs> We're now heading back to the like reception area wow. um, <laughs> to get checked in. Um, you only have to wear masks in the like restaurant bit. You don't have to wear them in the lobby, which I presumed you would. She was like, take your mask off. There's like screens everywhere. She was like, you don't need it on. We're protected. Um, so yeah, there's like a nice little seating area here. And then, is into the lobby bit so we're going to go find out our room um, and go and get unpacked the girls seem in really good spirits even though it's a bit late so yeah and the food was lovely I'll show you around the buffet one of the other days but yeah be right back just found the cocktail bar <laughs> that's where I'll be it's just right. waiting for our golf cart to come and take us to our room I was just saying what's a nice touch is, oh yeah. Um, so we were, everyone was checking in. There's just like bodies and bodies coming to check in. So they're like, go downstairs, leave your bags outside, and go and have just some dump food. your bags, go and eat before the restaurant closes. And which then they're like, so nice. and then after they go, just come and check in, and then we can take you to where you need to go. So we've come here, bags are still there, and we're getting on a golf cart to, to our room. It's very professional. It's been really good. So she wanted to sit on her own. I said no. She's got no. It's dangerous. Look, there's no sides to it. Um, but yeah, they're like, just dump your bags, go and eat. Really nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, obviously we didn't get a good view of everything. Here we go. Oh, oh, no. Here. oh no, that's too small. Can't fit on that one. Um, but the food was lovely from what we did have. Yeah, that's good. And Callum had emailed saying that he's vegan, and she just said, oh, I've just noticed on your account that it says you're vegan, and like, they didn't like for them to make a note and actually yeah. take the time to do that. And then she's like, if you need any help, talk to anyone they'll talk to, if they'll walk you around the buffet, if you can't find anything, they'll make you something. It's just been brilliant. Really, really, really good. So we're waiting for our golf cart, um, and then we'll get to the room. a standard twin room so like a double with a pull out sofa bed yeah and we're in like a two bedroom suite we've definitely left this we've got like a whole walk-in closet uh this is the girls bedroom even though we might do like me with one and tell them with the other this is the other bedroom the girls have found the magazines already big massive flat screen tv this is like the entryway. Look at this bathroom. So it's like a huge, hi, or huge bath with a shower over. Um, like a vanity with a big sink, some toiletries, a huge shower, and then the loo. And then the pièce de résistance. I'll go this way, there's a door from both sides. This is our uh, like balcony, veranda, whatever you want to call it. 
um, and this in the morning will be the sea. <laughs> so we did pay extra for a sea view, it wasn't very much. We definitely did not pay extra for, a, you can see the pool down there as well. We definitely did not pay extra for a two bedroom suite thing. So yeah, this is amazing. I'm going to unpack and then I will tell you very quickly about like the flight airport experience. Um, but yeah, this is really weird being short haul, isn't it? Because like we don't feel jet lagged or tired or like we've been traveling all day, even though we have been on the go all day, we just feel nice and fresh. So yeah, going to unpack and then Callum's gonna go and get, get us a cocktail from that cocktail bar. Oh yes. I just went to go to bed and then realized that I've been promising to mention about the flight and the airport. Um, so I thought I'd very quickly um, go through it. Um, like, really good. Did you feel, feel good and safe? Yeah, at no point today have I felt them so no so we flew on a dreamliner you can really tell the difference with the air quality it was full the flight was full there was no like spacing out of people but everyone had their masks on like the crew were really good mm -hmm. our pilot for any um <laughs> Hamilton fans out there was called John Lawrence we oh, think it might have been like John Lawrence but it was John Lawrence so all flight were like I'm John Lawrence in the place to be <laughs> um, so we love that. Sean ended up listening to the Hamilton I soundtrack. Yeah, I ended up listening to the soundtrack on the flight. Um, but yeah, so we were sat like two and two on two rows of three. We booked our seats um, in the hope that we wouldn't have anyone next to us, but there was people next to us. So we were sat next to strangers. So I, I imagine if you are anxious about um, like the pandemic and things, then I don't know, I still didn't feel uncomfortable, yeah. but then we don't have those anxieties. Yeah. So um, if it is something you're anxious about, then don't do it because the flights are full, especially to somewhere like Kos because like, it's safe to be here. So people are kind of flocking here, I think, aren't they? Do you just swear though? No, I said flocking. <laughs> um, airport wise, really good. We like the, considering that our whole flight was in the passport control we were through in five minutes yeah. ten minutes max ten minutes. um florida needs to take some lessons from cos <laughs> airport because it was like bam 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 yeah flying you through um callum got selected to be tested it looked like they were selecting like one person from every party maybe so you have to do like a locator form so he like showed his QR code, they scanned that and then they scanned a test and then gave it to him and then he went off and someone swabbed him and then that was it. Um, we were expecting it, weren't we? So like, we knew it was gonna... I don't know what I was expecting it. I, we, I, I, I knew they did random, random testing. I didn't I didn't, I didn't. didn't expect like, that they picked that many people. I think they're doing one from every group, which yeah, it looks to like be honest makes sense. Like, that's yeah. a really good way of doing it. I thought it would be like five people. I was yeah. kind of like, just keep your head down. <laughs> Um, but there's no there's no avoiding it, and to be fair, like it, it's good. Like it's probably why they're doing so well here yeah. with their case numbers. So that was that, and then our suitcases were like the last to come off the plane. Mm. So I had a bit of a squeaky bum because it's like one of my like I'm I'm really anxious leading up to getting on the plane because of my fear. And then that's kind of the thing when we get off the plane, I might just give it my suitcases. Um, but they appeared, so we have clothes. <laughs> but yeah, and then it would say it was really easy to, everything was kind of the same then in terms of, there was reps at the airport to tell us where we needed to go. Um, the coach was full from the airport and people did have taken their masks off at that point. Because it said on the thing, you only have to keep them on until you get out of the airport. Oh, really? But I, I think imagine. you should keep your mask on on the yeah, coach really. like that. So we kept ours on. But yeah, and so then we've just been getting everything sorted up and packed. It's like gone on 11 now. And um, there's an app for the resort, so Callum's downloaded that. It's been kind of like trying to get his bearings, trying to sort out like where to explore, what, what we can do tomorrow. It's absolutely massive. We have had a cocktail as well. And two beers. <laughs> the girls are snoozing. We're going to go to bed now. Um, but it's been a very good travel day. I don't feel like I've travelled. I feel fresh, no, no. to be fair. 
relatively fresh. Oh, are we tired to her? Said you, you're looking you forward do that. to vote for him. Looking forward to vote for him. I think I've told you everything I wanted to tell you. I'm bound to have got something. I thought I was going to get all this into one vlog, but I've just talked for five minutes, so it's definitely going to be a couple. Um, so, if you've got this far, thank you. I really hope you enjoy our trip, and we will share as much as we can. Um, I know it's kind of a bit of a touchy subject at the minute, but I'm hoping that this kind of helps anyone that is tempted to travel. Um, I know that the world is kind of going to pop again at the minute and the winter's not looking so great, so it might not be overly helpful, but maybe once things start picking up again, it'll give you an idea of what you can expect. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to bed now, because I've just said I feel fresh and it's literally just, I've just hit the wall as I've said it. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to sleep um, but we'll see you in the morning um, I can't wait to see what this is it's, in daylight I've been looking at this and just trying to get my head around this map and it's massive, there's so much stuff to do it's so huge, yeah I, I can't wait to see what our view is explore. yeah, like we can hear the sea we think we think it is waves we need to kind of speak to someone about how we get out and about and stuff because I'm desperate to get out a couple of times so we need to we're just going to speak to reception yeah. tomorrow maybe and kind of get an idea of what we can do there is excursions with TUI um, which if reception don't give us any kind of better information than that then we'll just book, book one of those and we talked on the plane about hiring a car but I don't know how how mm. um, like whether that's doable from here but yeah we'll see we're going to go to bed yeah um, and we'll see you in the morning. Love you, bye! Bye!